The University of California at Los Angeles, one of America's top flight educational institutions, did much to bring victory in World War II with its important scientific contributions. Although campus life here has many obvious attractions, this is no country club college. Here, science helps maintain academic leadership. Complex as UCLA's cyclotron is its new differential analyzer. This amazing mechanical brain quickly solves mathematical problems that would require months by ordinary computing methods. The brain is becoming an invaluable aid in our aircraft capital, speeding engineering research and reducing time spent on flight tests. It is also available for solution of other industrial design problems. Years of many types introduce coefficients combined to give various ratios. The analyzer can juggle them all without breaking a single formula. Qualities are represented by revolving shafts. The highly versatile machine adds, subtracts, multiplies, divides, integrates, and puts arbitrary functions into the problem, all mechanically. This is truly one of science's great achievements. With it, complex problems of synchronized machinery, electrical systems, Projectories of particles and large masses and the like now can be quickly solved. It frees research from old limitations and provides stimulus for unprecedented technical advancement. For example, giant rockets, which will speed to the moon and our sister planets, are now being perfected. Limitless as space are the dreams of science. Aided by the mechanical brain, they may soon become everyday reality. Give this data to DA. D for differential, A for analyzer. Differential analyzer, DA. Naturally. We'll check these through the viewer. Dr. Hendren, the key. Oh, later, Randall, I wish I didn't know Brunson's capability so well. He rarely leaves any margin for error. This was Brunson's first discovery. Bellus, a star, a dozen times larger than our Earth. Bellus has been approaching Earth at tremendous speed. Brunson's second discovery, a new planet. Brunson named it Zyra, and his measurements show this new body revolves around Bellus more rapidly than Earth revolves around the sun. This is in the constellation of Scorpio. Dr. Fry, notice the position of these new bodies. Uh, yes. Yes, I see. But here again, Bellis and Zyra have changed position. Now, just how fast they've been moving and their eventual destination are among the mathematical problems now being determined by our differential analyzer. We'll have the results in a few hours. Zyra is about the same size as our Earth. Both these bodies are coming into our solar system. If Bronson's readings are correct, they will destroy the Earth. This is not good! Worlds are colliding! George is getting upset! <laughs> Dr. and Mrs. Marvin now. Carol, Russ, we've been waiting for you. Thanks. This is Dr. Alberts. How do you do? You know General Edmonds? Yes, Admiral of course. Enright. Certainly. And Mrs. Marvin is General Hanley's daughter. Mrs. Marvin, your father's death was a great loss to all of us. Thank you. 
Well, I see you've been busy. Oh, we've been doing a little work. Here, let me show you. It didn't take too long to break this thing down. These helmets have a language translating device in them. Mrs. Marvin, would you say something into the microphone? The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven. Shakespeare wouldn't like it. <laughs> Professor Albert said if we read the dictionary into the device, word by word, we'd have a translation of those words into their language. By translating their communications into our words, we were able to decode them. Professor Alberts requisitioned the electronic translator, which his university had developed, and the results, to say the least, have been startling. We've recorded a number of their messages on tape. One of the messages appears to be a plan of attack. The rest were operational routine. I'll show you how it works. Over here. We can expect trouble when Mercury is in perihelion. When will that be? 